I am back as the leader of the Yoruba Nation Agitators, says Akintoye. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The back and forth over Yoruba Nation leadership has continued as the leader of the self-determination group, Ilano Omo Odua, Professor Banji Akintoye, returned. Akintoye had earlier resigned in December 2022 and handed over to his deputy, Professor Wale Adeniro, who also stepped down last week and said he was quitting the struggle for the actualization of Yoruba nation. The leader was said to have withdrawn his resignation, which he had placed earlier, that was dated 6th of December 2022, from the Apex Yoruba Self-Determination Organization. A few weeks, um, barely four weeks after he submitted it. He has therefore resumed as the leader of the organization, which has more than 200 pro Yoruba nation groups under it. He has also dissolved the executive council of the organization. The fact emerged in a letter entitled, My humble response to the request that I should withdraw my letter of resignation, which was released and made available to journalists in Ibado, the Oyo State Capital, on Wednesday. The concerned leader of Ilano Odua at last week at a press conference held at the NUJ Press Center in Yagonku, Ibadan, rejected the resignation letters of Professor Banja Kitoye, the leader of the group, and Professor Wale Adeniro, the deputy leader that later became leader of the group from the movement. They revalidated and reaffirmed Akitoye as the leader of the group. Remember, Akitoye had resigned in the first week of December 2022 and was succeeded by Professor Wale Adeniro, his former deputy in the struggle. But Adeniro also resigned as chairman of the group in the first week of January 2023, which is barely a month after assumption of office. According to Akintoye, three weeks ago, I wrote to inform Ilano Onmo Odua that I was resigning from my leadership position in the organization. I made it clear that my resignation was due only to the need for me at my advanced age to trim off my responsibilities in Ilano in order to devote my energies to pressing challenges in the higher spheres of our Yoruba self-determination struggle. Since then, I have received from all sections of Ilano messages or letters rejecting my resignation and urging me to continue to make the sacrifice of leaving Ilano. In the course of the past week, I have been visited for the same purpose by leading persons representing the Elders' Advisory Council, the Ilano Secretariat, and the two formerly differing sections of Ilano. I have also had the honor of being visited by Prince Peter Bangbadi, who is recognized in the Yoruba nation as a major influence for reconciliation and harmony amongst Yoruba people. Further to the above, a coalition of Ilano Omo Odua worldwide affiliates groups both in the diaspora and homeland, converged in Ibadan a few, weeks, a few days ago to revalidate and reaffirm my leadership of Ilano Omo Odua worldwide and also urged me to withdraw my resignation as leader. I thank Prince Bamigbadi for his goodwill intervention in the family of Ilano. In the circumstance, I hereby give up my earlier resignation decision and announce my return to my leadership position and role in Ilano. I appreciate the fact that in the course of appealing to me to return to my Ilano position, various sections of Ilano have accepted the need for greater harmony in Ilano, so that Ilano may return to its well-known unity and strength in our nation's self-determination struggle. This has made me very happy indeed, and it has given me serious encouragement to return fully to Ilano. As I now return, I expect cooperation, mutual respect, brotherliness, and disciplined conduct from all our members at home and in the diaspora. As a disciplined self-determination organization, crucial to the realization of our collective resolve to exit the contraption called Nigeria, there is the immediate need to harmonize and unify all the tendencies in Ilano. I hereby use this opportunity to announce the dissolution of all Ilano factions largely brought about by infiltration of our rank 
and fire by adversaries within and without. To the glory of God, the Yoruba quest for self-determination is now in its final step towards victory. As is common to struggles in final stages, the tensions are high and the need for responsibility and discipline are very high. I'm confident that Ilana will be a leading contributor to the discipline that will move our nation's whole struggle to ultimate victory. We shall soon welcome our Urile Ide Yoruba, where our Yoruba people will live in peace and security and where our Yoruba nation will quickly become a nation of prosperity, power and beauty in the world. Let us give thanks to God for giving us his light and strength for these final steps of our journey to our Urile Ide Yoruba. So this is a reaff reaffirmation by Professor Banji Akitoye to be back into the fold of Ilana leadership. What's your opinion on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe to our channel. And please stay safe out there as we come down to the 2023 presidential election. See you in the next video. Bye for now.